Hello architecture students. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos that are going to be going over um, lighting and electrical. Now for some of my students who were with us last year and um, you know of course we had the whole COVID thing where we all went home and uh, you know my architecture students didn't get to go th as far as I wanted them to and I don't recall which students did get the electrical and which ones did not um, because they were, everyone was going at different pace. So if you do know what's going on as far as um, any of these videos are concerned, you know, feel free, free to skim through them and get to some of the more meatier stuff. Um, but there's going to be several videos. This particular video is uh, strictly going to be about placing the lighting, about using the tools that you need to place the lighting. Okay. I'm going to have some more in-depth videos after this. It's going to go a little bit over some of the theory involved in lighting. So here's what we want to do to prepare an electrical and lighting plan. First thing you'll do is you'll make a copy of level one. I'm right down here and I'm on level one. I right click and I choose to duplicate and then I click on just duplicate right over here to the right the first one and I get another copy and what I end up with is one that looks like this it'll say level one copy one I want to right click on that and click rename okay and once you click rename it gives you the ability to rename it right here in the box what you're going to name it is you're going to name it electrical and lighting Okay, this will be your electrical and lighting plan. So what I'm going to do first, however, again, like I said, is I'm just going to show you how to place light fixtures. One thing I forgot to tell you in this video, and of course this is uh, one of those overdubbed things. You can see I'm wearing a different shirt today. But anyway, uh, what I forgot to tell you is how to set um, in your, your properties up here, how to set that to where you can actually see your light fixtures. This is the way I do mine is um, I go to the underlay section and um, on range base right here the first option I set it for level one the range top I set for top of wall one uh, and depending on what you name them you might name them something different but basically the range base is on the floor level and the range top is on top of the wall level okay it's, it's right up there at the ceiling or just slightly above the ceiling and then your underlay orientation is that you want to look up. All right, and that will allow you to place um, just about every one of your fixtures. I think there's a couple of them that might give you some problems with that. Um, but that's really all it is, is uh, the way this might be set. Um, sometimes you just have to find a workaround with some, some fixtures. But thus far, I really haven't had any trouble uh, using this setting. So again, in your electrical and lighting, uh, which is a copy of your level one, and then your setting is range base level one, range top, top of wall one, and underlay, look up. All right, now another thing too is if you look at my drawing, you see I have no plantings or dimensions or anything like that. So everything else, all my plantings need to be hidden in your electrical uh, plans. We don't want to see all of that unnecessary stuff. So um, anyway, continue on. Okay, now you can see I've already gotten started. I've already placed a few fixtures in this particular plan. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of show you what I do to actually place the lighting. It's real simple. Now there's going to be some problems with some of the light fixtures in Revit. Okay, and if you do come across a problem with a light fixture and it will not place properly, like uh, some, there are a couple of light fixtures that want to place on the wall, which that can sometimes be easily fixed. However, some of them don't want to place on the ceiling properly. Um, and then there's others that want to place on the floor. Um, not a lot. I think there's about three or four fixtures that have a huge problem. Um, and that just has to do with the way that they were actually modeled in the beginning. And there's nothing you can do about it right now. I mean, you can go deeply into the family and do some editing in there, but I'm not going to take you that far and that deep. If you run across a fixture, if you're trying to use a light fixture in your plan and it doesn't work, it doesn't want to mount properly, it doesn't want to mount to the ceiling like it is supposed to, get another fixture. 
Okay. Um, there's no way that you can fix that right now. Uh, what I do suggest is if you don't like what's available in Revit is to go to Revit City. Um, and uh, most of you should have an account with Revit City. It's a free account. Uh, you can go to Revit City and download any light fixture or anything, any kind of Revit family that you want to download and use in your plan. Okay. You can also Google Revit families. And you can come up with all kinds of hits on different sites that offer free and paid Revit families that you can download. And that would be light fixtures, furniture, entertainment systems, uh, appliances, everything that you can think of. Um, so try that. You know, do download some things if you need to. All right. Now, a lot of times, typically, I will use what's in Revit just mainly as a placeholder and then kind of come back later after I make my design and then choose some more specific uh, fixtures to put in their place. But uh, that's just how I do it. OK, you don't have to do it that way. You can start off wherever you want to and end up wherever you need to. But placing fixtures. OK, to place a fixture, you're going to go to the architecture tab. Click on the component tool, and then you're going to load family. All right. Now, what I want you to do to make sure you're in the right family, uh, because they've actually done some updates to the folders and stuff like that in Revit. And I ran across a problem earlier with a student that was using a different folder than he should be using, uh, but they didn't know, and I didn't know either until I kind of researched it a little bit. But if you will do this, go to this button right here. It's called up one level. OK, you're going to click on that. Keep clicking on it till you get back to this to right here where it says libraries. And it's got all your different languages of products right here. OK, now there's two English. There used to I think guess there was only one before, but. But this is what I found out. The problem that someone was having is they were on this English, which has some metric stuff in it, or it seems like it has some metric stuff in it. I don't know if it's all metric or whatever. I didn't spend that much time in it. Uh, but what you want to click on is the English Imperial and make sure you're working out of the English Imperial folder. Um, and then from here, we click on lighting somewhere, lighting right here. And we're going to go to architectural lighting. And depending on if we're putting lights indoors or outdoors, we're going to click on one of these two. Right now, we're going to put lights indoors. So I'm going to click on internal. And then you have all of your lights right here. Uh, these are all the ones that are available um, in Revit. Uh, you can always add more to it by downloading stuff and putting them in this folder. But uh, let's say I just choose a, I don't know, downlight round LED. And then I click open. OK, and now that I'm in my electrical plan, um, now some of them I can go around, go around and place them on the ceiling. But as you can see right now, this one doesn't want to place on the ceiling. Uh, now, my suspicion is that it wants to place on the wall, which it does. If I come over here to the wall, it wants to put, put itself right there on the wall. Well, what I want to do is go up here and make sure this is set correctly. OK, it should be set for place on face. OK, now I can actually see the fixture and it's going to mount right there on the ceiling. OK, so I would mount this fixture, you know, line it up with something. Don't just scatter it about and place it anywhere. Since I'm going to light up this area right over here to the right, I'm going to click and place it right there, even with the dining table light. OK, so I've got that light fixture placed. Um, I also want to go in and check. You want to double check your light fixtures to make sure they are mounting properly. So I have this section right here and I can click on it and go into a section view and I do not see my light fixture. I should be able to, but let's go back to level one. Am I on level one electrical? Click on that. Okay. And it's on level one and it's eight feet, elevated eight feet off the ground, which is good. Let me check out the scope of this box, and that should be good. Of course, another way you can do this is going 3D. Let's say, let's put a camera right here. 
look that way and there it is right there so it looks like it is mounting properly so you know don't forget to double check your work that's the point however you do it if you do it this way or another way that's perfectly fine okay <clears throat> So that is really all there is to placing a light fixture. It's really that simple. So you want to place light fixtures throughout your entire home, putting them in locations where they're going to be the most useful and provide the best light for safety and security and uh, for seeing for whatever task may be performed in that one area. Okay. So um, that's it for this video. Stay tuned on the next one, and I'm going to take you through a detailed uh, kind of analysis of what I did here in my living room so that you'll kind of understand the thought process and what I did as I was thinking through putting these light fixtures in this room.